What's up, Bernie? I wanted to give you something to say thank you for me and Bryce. Well, he doesn't know I'm giving you this, but he gave it to me, so it's technically from him. What is it? This car. Enjoy! I only power walk or take cabs, so I figured I should pass this on to my savior. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Don't mention it. What we've got is worth more than money. Come on, mister. Please Out of the car. Turn. We're safe. My no ribs! Please proceed to highlighted route. Slow down, John! In 100 yards. Turn right. Thank you, Bryce Dawkins. I hope the cash for this didn't come out of city funds. the move!
Yeah. I'm here to see Mr. Pegorino. Well, I didn't think you were here to sell me insurance. So, you're here to work for him, shoot him, or arrest him. Or maybe all three. It's okay, Mrs. P. I'll deal with this. Yeah. I'm in a life-threatening situation, and I'm having a conversation here. He could have killed me. You're useless. Organized crime, my ass. With guys like you, no wonder this organization is doing so wonderfully. You, Nick? Come on. Peg. What? Someone for you. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, were you followed? I don't think so. Oh. I mean, who knows? Exactly. I mean, we can pretty much guarantee you were followed. The question is, did you know about it? And right now, I don't know the answer to that question. But to be honest, I don't really care, neither. I know enough about you, your cousin, your friends, I know a lot of people around you end up in jail. Some, maybe. But that's the same all over town. This is a dying game. I don't understand. I mean, I'm gonna ask you to deal with a problem. And you're gonna deal with it. Or you're not gonna deal with it, and you're gonna be a problem that somebody else has to deal with. But me? I ain't doing nothing. Yes, okay. So what's the problem? We'll get to that. Anthony! Yo! Did Phil call? Not yet, boss. Ray called. <sighs> of course he did. I wonder, is it better to have a talented snake or a historical lion who's going to be cut down in his prime? I don't know. What do you think? I don't understand what you're talking about. <laughs> you do. But I ain't going to push. Anthony, get in here. Boss? Where's Big Pete and Marco? On their way. <sighs> Listen to me. Here's what the plan is. Me and two of my guys are gonna meet with a couple of boys from the Pavano family. I need these guys if we're ever gonna be taken serious. You know, get on the commission. Now the thing is, these guys ain't, shall we say, shown us the appropriate respect in the past. I want you to run security. Keep an eye on things, because they won't be looking out for you. Ah, here they are. It's either them or the cops. It's them. They're outside. Looks like Ray's here, too. I know it's them. God, give me strength. I'll be out in a minute. Look after Ray till I get back. Hey, Tone. Hey, Ray. I need to speak with hey, Pegorino. What, what are you doing? He's, he's busy. Hey, Nico. <laughs> oh, boss. 
Salve. Get up. I'm sorry, boss. This guy's everywhere like a freaking cockroach or something, huh? <laughs> In a good way. Ray, you and me is gonna talk. The boss has got business. Yeah. Uh, boss, I got you this because I care. You boys have fun. What are you waiting for? Hit it! Let's go! Nico, this is Pete and Marco. Guys, Nico. He's the one who's been keeping Ray from drowning in a pile of shit. What the fuck is up with the diamonds? I don't know. I was just doing what Ray told me to. I didn't get where I am by believing what every schmuck told me. You ain't the type of guy to follow orders if they ain't your interest. You're a smart guy, Skipper. Shut up, Pete. I'm surprised you can even speak when your lips are always puckered up kissing my ass. Ray was helping me out with something, so I helped him with the diamonds. I ain't gonna do shit for him, no more. I don't like the way he does business. Things got too complicated. Damn right they did. Dad Ice was a real fuck-up. Ray didn't go through the correct channels. Guy who owned the diamonds, Gay Tony, is in with the enchiladas. A lot of people said those diamonds were theirs. Tell me about it. But I don't give a shit about them other people. What I'm worried about is our involvement with getting back to Gay Tony and his connections. We got a lot riding on this meeting with the Pavanos. Want to keep relations sweet with at least one of the families that got a seat on the commission? You're gonna get a seat on that commission real soon, ain't you, boss? About time, Alden, you got some representation in the city. Don't tell me what's due to me. I've been waiting for this and working hard for this for years. All that ain't worth nothing without me. My old man, God rest his soul, didn't have the balls to bring the family to the level I got it to. I'm gonna get that seat because of what I done. Sit down next to John Gravelli if he survives that long, and run all of Liberty City. The whole country, maybe. The Pavanos, are they gonna offer you a seat then? They can't give me a seat, but they can help me get one. Ain't nobody been given a seat since the commission got founded. Shit. Times has changed. Since Rico, the commission ain't the same. They need a family with a new approach to be sitting down with him. I got a knife. Give him the rifle, Marco. You expect him to start throwing empty cans from there if this thing kicks off? No way, Skip. Here you go. Nico, go up into that building. There should be a spot where you can see over to me. Don't start shooting unless they attack us. I don't want this thing screwing up for no good reason.
This is the best. Ah, did that hurt? Commission knew they did this. I'm sure the whole city will be up in arms. The motherfuckers try to whack me at a sit down. They're trying to make off with my tribute. The fucking nerve. We're gonna ice those fucks, Nico. The fucking Pavanos, if we kill every one of them slime balls, then maybe the other families will give me their seat on the commission. Fucking Liberty City families. Get them, Nico. I'm doing my best. Yeah, well, best ain't good enough. I did my best. Made a name for the Pecoritos. Earned a lot of good money for a lot of bad people. And this happens. They try to fucking kill me! But at least they had the respect to do it at the meet. They didn't come to your home while you and your wife were sleeping. Let's make them wish they was never born! You're a good earner, Nico. Take me back to my place. I can't believe that Pavanos would treat me like this. The Pegarino name should mean something to them. It means something in Alderney. Even if it don't, an Algonquin. They better not think of crossing that West River and not looking over their shoulders. Too bad about Marco and Pete. Marco and Pete? Oh, yeah. Those guys didn't make it, did they? Well, too fucking bad. They knew what they were signed on for. Weren't complaining on the way out, were they? No, they weren't. Happy to be on board with the skipper. Yeah, well, they seemed like good kids. Ah, these kids come and go. It ain't worth paying attention to them until they prove they can survive. I just move on and hire some wannabe wise guys off the street. It's that simple? Has to be. I only start paying attention to my crew when they start putting me in an awkward position, either because they know too much in my rat, or because they got too much power and they're too smart to get themselves clipped. Ray was nothing to me until he started earning big and sticking his nose in places that didn't belong. Rats seem to get everywhere you don't want them. The only way you know is by finding their shit all over the place in the morning. Phil's different. He's been my man for a while. I mean, how much can I do with a guy who ain't a full Italian? He's 90% Irish. It don't do too well for the reputation of us Pecorinos having St. Patrick that high up in our organization. You see the respect we're getting out on the street? Jesus!
You did good, kid. Kept your head when everyone else was losing theirs. Sometimes literally. We're gonna need your skills again soon. Arrivederci. about conflict resolution in here, pal. got work. He pays. That's about it. Yeah. Well, remember who made the introduction. Remember who brought you in. Don't you forget about me. If you want to pass something up to me, pay me some tribute. Sorry, Ray. I'm freelance. I don't buy into that tribute stuff. This work has many disadvantages, but uh, hey, at least it's tax-free.
Who are you waving at? Feds, I think. They always drive past at this time. Does that worry you? <laughs> when you marry a dragon, you gotta expect a few knights are gonna turn up to try to <laughs> slay him. Jackasses, all of them, all of you. Nice talking with Whatever. you. You have fun. Pick a swell guy to kill. Hopefully someone with a young family who really miss him. Hey! Hey! Is Mr. Pegorino around? Uh, uh sure. I I'll get him. Boss! Anthony, will you shut up? In fact, will you fuck off? Go on, get out of here. Mm. Don't come back till you get a brain implant or something. I'm sorry. I I'm so Nice to see you, Nico. You too. I got a couple of things I want to talk to you about. First up, can you kill this shithead? Sure. <laughs> Second, come in here. Oh, fuck. So, listen, we got a bit of a problem with the Pavanos. Yes, I noticed that at your meeting with them. The way they look at us, we're bottom feeders. Always have been. We ain't a real family to them, just a bunch of Guernsey Goombas. When things are cool, we're getting fucked. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, sure. Listen, some of their boys are in town today. Gonna collect their piece of an old and a bookie ring. Where it is, they're at the diner in Acta. Find them and follow them to the meet. You disrupt it, and I'll let you keep the money. But make sure you hit the Pavanos real hard, Gabish. Yeah, Gabish. <sighs> Thank you. I think that guy works for the Pegorinos. God, they must be desperate. Let's lose him on the way to the meet.
I got that stuff, Jimmy. Well done, my boy. I hope you made him suffer. Gave him that all that ass Pecorino term. Is there a nice little haul in it for you? All right. Well, maybe you'll give me a little taste and something up the left. As I was Italian, we do a thing for the century. Good thing I'm not Italian. I want to introduce you to John Gravelli, head of the Gambetti family. He needs help. I'm already working for a mafia family. They're scum. The Pegorinos? They're not a family. Gravelli is the only man who can get what you need done. He's in Shotla Medical Center. Tell him you were sent by a mutual friend. He's expecting you. Feel free to browse, buddy, but don't try anything funny. You guys are lifesavers. Thanks. Nico, I've been invited to your cousin's wedding. I didn't think you guys knew each other. Nor did I. He called me up and said that you really liked me and wanted me to be there. Is that true, Nico? I guess it is. I'll see you at the wedding then. Get in. Hey, Tommy, check this out. Seven horse, seven race, hey, Joe Phil. What? Hey, pal, what's going on? Not too much. How are you? I'm good. Want to walk and talk? Sure. Tommy, give me a call if my big buddy calls. Tell him I went out to get some fresh air. No problem. Ridiculous! I'm a grown man walking around like a chump. I'm sorry about this. Hey, no problem. So you're a friend of Ray's? <laughs> a friend? No, oh, I do some work for him. <laughs> no, I mean a friend. I don't understand. Whatever you say, he's the slime ball, but uh, he pays. <laughs> sure, pal, sure. Listen to me. The thing about Ray is, he's a good earner. He talks a lot of shit, but he's a good earner. That be He's a rat doing an impression of a man. <laughs> That's pretty good. Phil! Phil! What? What? What do you want? <coughs> Mr. Boss! Said you gotta head down to docks. Emergency. Said you'd understand. Ah, oh, shit. It's three days early. Man on the meal. What am I gonna do? What's the problem? Nico. I'm gonna have to take a chance with you, pal. Okay. Come on, let's go. Okay, listen. There's a truck waiting for us. It's under the overpass off Catskill Avenue. Drive us there. You scan this thing for bugs? No, but we can be pretty sure it's clean. Chill out. All right, all right. It's just that if we get caught on this one, you and me is going down for a long time. And that means that certain people is going to assume we're whacked, which means we'll get whacked. You're working with the wrong people if you expect them to whack you if you 
go inside. Where's the trust, Bill? It's about survival. If someone who knew what I knew got flipped, then the whole organization will go down. Whacking someone who catches some heavy time is just an insurance policy. And it don't help that not everyone in the organization is pulling in the same direction. You mean that someone in the family would see someone else going inside as an opportunity to get ahead? You're a smart guy. Anyways, excuse me if I want to be absolutely sure that we got our asses covered. You're excused. What are we doing? We're taking a load of product off of some Russians the enchiladas have been dealing with. He was helping those Irish idiots cause some beef between the enchiladas and their Albanian muscle a while back. Since that little love affair ended, they've been getting this Russian guy to supply them with sea. We just got the heads up that a shipment has arrived in Liberty City by boat. That's what the talk about the dogs was. Exactly. We're taking... All right, this is the truck. a shitload of coke we're taking. It should be a lot of sugar. But that ain't the only reason why we're taking this truck. Some of my boys stole it from the enchiladas this morning. It's the one the Russians are expecting to come pick up the seat. We should be able to turn up and have them loaded up for us. Then we drive away, no questions asked. I don't know if anyone will give away a load of coke without asking any questions. Even the Russian coke runners ain't that stupid. Yeah, sure, this is just plan A. It's the one Jimmy P worked out. You and me know it ain't gonna work. And that the only way we're gonna be able to leave that place with the sugar is if all the Russians in there are dead. So why don't we use a more subtle approach? Not just drive right into the middle of it. Because these is the orders and we gotta follow them. That's the way things work. You ain't gonna be happy about everything you get told to do, are you? You're the boss. It ain't like I'm working for free. No, you ain't, and I ain't neither. That's why we gotta at least try to do what we're told to do. You're gonna learn that there ain't much in this life that you got control of. Whether you're putting yourself in harm's way because that's the way the skipper wants it done, or you're staying away from your kids because of a stupid court order and a malicious bitch of an ex-wife, there ain't that much control in anything. I've been around long enough to know that there are some things that we don't have a choice about. But there's other times where you got to look at something and make a decision for yourself. I can't follow every order I'm given. Yeah, well, maybe you're right. Maybe you ain't. I don't know. This is it. Keep a cool head and everything should be fine. Hey, buddy, we're here to pick up the shipment. I don't speak English. Fuck off. Hey, amigo, let's make this easy. I just want to give the stuff to my boss and go home. I don't let anyone in here until I get the word. There's something wrong about you. Get out of the truck real slow. Nico, looks like we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. Shoot these commies.
cover, brother! The drug game's ours, boys! Stay down! You're going to die, friend! The stuff's still on those bolts. We best get them out of here. You handled yourself real good back then. Kept your head. That's a valuable trait. Thank you. See you later.
Welcome to Burger Shop, motherfucker. Bon appetit, motherfucker. Thanks for coming in the Burger Shop. Dead. Yo, real talk. Watch where the fuck you going. Burger shot. Buck, buck. What's up? I see you, motherfucker. You must got an iron stomach, dog. Burger shot. Holla back. Why is everybody, everybody fucking 